Ba 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 What do you like best about Akon? You have a, such a large amount of people. You have different age ranges, people from all sorts of different nationalities, people from everywhere, and they're able to be who they want to be, dress as who they maybe want to be, and just kind of let your freak flag fly and enjoy yourself. And there's a really good bar downstairs. So, what's your favorite part of Akon so far? The dealers. Room. The dealers it's room. It's really big and it's like at once. Like I want to buy everything in there. Do you want to live in there? Yes, I want to live in there for the rest of my life. I hear that people say that a lot. They want to live in a dealer room. I, I really like dressing up, but I like seeing everyone in their costume because I like art and I draw and stuff. And it's yeah. just really fun seeing people like wearing whatever they want and like total freedom of expression. And they're like totally not in shape. And they they can do what they want to do. So when you came to Asher, did you know what cosplay was, or did you find out when you were at the con? Like I knew what cosplay was, but it wasn't until like I actually went to a convention that I was like. Oh my god, this is super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's your favorite part of a convention? Dressing up. Dressing up? <laughs> what's your favorite part of a convention? Uh, dressing up? No, it's not really dressing up. It's. Nobody's different here. Yeah, it's you like. Know? Yeah. And, you know, my kids, my kids, you know, they can be themselves and feel comfortable about being different, weird. Here. How long did it take? Oh my god, three months. <laughs> hey, we were all eating pizza and we're just like, what? <laughs> Why do people do that? Oh, I should. I know what I should ask you. If somebody wants a picture of you guys, what's the proper way of approaching a cosplayer to get pictures? Hi, can I get a picture? May I yes, please take yes, a yes, picture of you? So basically, don't get pictures of you stuffing faces. That's not the best way to get pictures. I don't know why you want a picture of me stuffing my face, anyway. Have you guys got an Acon before? I'm assuming you have. Oh yes, this is my sixth year. Six years. Yeah. Four. I've been going since I was 17. That's, oh, uh, uh, seven years ago. Yes, this is my second time being here. This is my second convention. Uh, no, this is my first convention. This is your first convention ever? Yes. Are you overwhelmed? There's two more days of this. I know. Yes, this is my fifth year. Fifth year? Uh, I went to Anime Fest, but I've gone to Acon, so this is my first time. First time? What? First time. And first, time? first convention. Oh, is she scared? Where are you guys from? Um, I'm from Edmond, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Plano. From Mississippi. You're from Mississippi. You're like the third person I met from Mississippi. Uh, we live in Houston, yeah. From Missouri, ten, nine hours? Ten. Nine, nine, ten hours. Yeah. You came from Arkansas? Yeah, six hours from Conway, Arkansas, and Dallas, Texas. Las Cruces. More Oklahoma people. <laughs> Why is there so many Oklahoma people here? And there's so many mini cons. You know, cosplay at Walmart is the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. Oh, I, I hear a story. I hear a story. I want to hear the story about cosplay at Walmart. Um, when we went to a Zoomy con, we went to Walmart, and there was like ten of us, and most of us were in Oron. So we had people running around and throwing stuff in the basket. We had like three hundred dollars. Tell me how you put this together. Uh, parts of it are like the gun or uh, PVC pipes and just different bits and. Uh, Wait, really? Yeah, it's just pipes. Uh, that's just sheet plastic. The body, the hand plates, shin guards are all. Uh, those are all sheet plastic. The boots, I'm really proud of. They're duct tape and they got rubber plate on them. Check that out, dude. These are duct tape, this is duct tape and foam, it's all duct tape and foam, and then these are hamster balls, this is a batting helmet with oh, yeah. cardboard bits, and a, the mohawk, and the ear caps are uh, mustard bottles that I just chopped the bottom half off. 
glued them on. I the love side. that. Now your hair is actually you actually bleached your hair. Yes. Like what twice? Three times? Uh, three times in four days, five days. Is oh it's actually my uh, it's, it's my phone and uh, I've got it running through a uh... That's cool. That's on and, oh dude. Oh dude. Too bad it doesn't work. Everyone says that. <laughs> Isn't it cool enough? Isn't no. It cool enough? No. No. It's, no. it's got to work. Come it's on. Never it's never cool enough. It's steampunk. It's got to work. Steampunk. It's got to work. Isn't that what steampunk's about? It's like mechanical. <laughs> okay, dude. What do you like best about Akon, Mr. Garter Belt? The best thing I like about Akon: all the little briefs running around. <laughs> Too bad Frank doesn't say anything. I would have Frank to say something. Do a heart. Oh, Frank did hard. This place is hugely crowded. Oh, anyway, come on in. Okay, sorry. No, that's okay. I'm going to try to do video and shoot at the same time, which I don't think is going to work too well. Texas, and it's hot outside. There tends to be a lot of drama in the cosplay community, and if we could get rid of that, that would be fantastic. If everybody could just get along and be friendly and bathe. That's all I want. That's all I want. Costume malfunctions. Costume malfunctions? Yeah. And my sword falling apart. <laughs> yeah, last, minute, last minute fix-ups. I don't like last minute fix-ups. The attitude sometimes. It's sometimes I kind of equate it to like prom or the, you know, prom queen. And it's so, dude, I'm 30. I've been doing this for 12 years. It should be fun at this point. We're dressing up as cartoon characters. And, I, you know, anything I could just say to people, just have fun with it, really. You know, we're all nerds. You know, at some point, we've all been the outcasts. Yeah. And, you know, we should all, like, really embrace each other and just enjoy it. Or drama. Drama? Drama, drama is unnecessary. Yeah. I, no drama, please. What's the best thing about cosplay? Making costumes. Making costumes? What's the worst thing about cosplay? Making Don't say make costumes. costumes. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Fixing costumes. Fixing costumes. Okay, stocking. Why are you here at an anime convention? 
because of all the sweets, of course. Sweets? What sweets? Oh, I see it's anime, and DVD, There's and... There's mochi in the dealer's room. There is? And uh, green tea and calpico and all kinds of sweets. They just don't have cheesecake, though. That's my favorite. What is ever saying to me before? <laughs> so you guys are our first. Okay, so I have to ask you, why did you come up with this idea? How did you come up with this idea? It was funny. <laughs> I don't know. I did it. You I was did like, it? you should probably put that on and walk around. He's like, okay. <laughs> so, how hot, how hot does it get in there? It's probably about 20 degrees hotter than the room. How long can you actually be in there before you have to take it off? I, uh, I actually have air holes, but I made the mistake of plugging one up with my speaker. Oh, okay. So maybe in the future it, you yeah. can put like a air. Like well, a, I'm gonna cut off the nose for the next con and actually put the net in front of the nose. That way I get airflow. How did you make this? This was a. Uh, it started out as a helmet. Hold that. Started out as a helmet that came down to a beak. Right. And then it got cut away. The the beak part got cut away, and then it was molded in clay. And then uh, slush cast which is uh, you just basically drip the resin all over the top and then uh, you build it in front and back, like the front half and then the back half. That sounds very long process. It probably takes about a week. Oh, okay. That's so, not as bad as I suspect. And that's if you do it right the first time. If you do it wrong the first time, you're looking at you know, double, triple, depending on how many times it screws up. If it cracks, you're screwed. How many times have you actually done this? That one? Uh, first time? Or have you broken the other six. one? Six. <laughs> I don't know if they actually have it in there. Flip it over. They actually have the models. I started out making that costume, uh -huh. the big one. Yep. Ended up making a smaller marine like one of these. Uh, this guy without his head on is probably the chaplain or cha uh, the unit commander. And that's pretty much what I'm at, where I'm at right now. And when I get done with this one, I'm going to build this big one. I should ask you, what is the weirdest experience you had with a fan who saw you at a con? I was in the bathroom once. <laughs> you were in the bathroom and, once? <laughs> uh, guy walks up and he basically is trying to have a conversation with me. And I'm kind of dealing out the Imperial Justice right there. <laughs> like, he wouldn't take the I can't shake your hand at face value. And I didn't want to sprinkle on him. So right. I kind of was like, uh, can you give me a sec? If you feel it, do it. <laughs> it's just really that simple. I like, 40, I, I like Warhammer. So I wanted to make the costume. I decided to make it. I did what I needed to do. Here I am today. I literally didn't finish this costume until 8.30 this morning. Drove three hours from Abilene, Texas to Whoa. get here by, by 10.30, you know, 10.30, 11 o'clock. And it took 25 minutes to get geared up in the hot Dallas sun and walk in the building. From the door, from the door of my car to the door to Sheridan Hotel, I, I probably sweat like five, 10 ounces of water. And wow. I've been in here all day, so, you know, picture after picture, it's pretty, it's, I mean, being, being a cosplayer ain't about race, it ain't about where you're from, it's about how much you love what you do. My next stop in Texas is San Japan, San Antonio, Texas, August 5th through 7th, 2011. Cosplay got you a husband. And cosplay got me a husband. I, I want to hear this story. Okay, it, it was yeah, it was 100 pounds ago. Um, it was Anime Fest 2003 in Dallas. Um, it was my second convention period, 
and I was always a big Zelda nut, so I went as Navi from Ocarina of Time. She played the original Zelda when she was like, what, two years old? Yeah, that was my very first game, and, and so I'm a, I'm a Zelda nut. Well, um, I was getting courted by a very brash cosplayer. He was very badly, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but he was playing a duo Maxwell, and you know, he, he finally just crossed the line, and I had this help me look, and so I'm sitting there in a little tunic, big wings and everything, just looking around, hoping that someone would help me. Yeah. And he was actually working security at the time. Bomb patrol. <laughs> <laughs> and so he stopped and he actually decided, actually, you know, the, oh, you! Oh, I have yeah. the actual card right here. Bomb patrol. Oh, dude. I, it's okay. Weird question. This is yeah. something people do in Texas. Like people yeah. carry around tons of ba it's badges. It's kind of like badges of honor. It's, it's. I usually have more online, but we with Com Patrol, we actually have to wear. On what's what's Com Patrol? Is that we're, security? We're, yeah, we're Con Security. Okay. Uh, we can't be called security legal issues, but for okay. Con Patrol, we make sure everything flows nicely. People need help. We're there. There's medical. There's you know. Apparently, you did your job well <laughs> because. But he, he stopped and he turned around and goes, "By the way, who's dressed up?" And so we started talking, finally the other cosplayer left. Got the hint. <laughs> and hint. I really liked him, so we kept talking after that. After my, my shift birthday. was done, after my shift, my shift was done, five hours later we... Uh... He mentioned leaving and I, I felt my face fall, so... <laughs> Yeah, so um, fast forward, how many years? For, we talked for five hours, exchange. Uh, we dated for about two and a half years. We've been married for about five now. Aww, I mean, so our, doing doing stuff like a contest is it's like another honeymoon. So. Uh, I love stories like that. I really do. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I found my best friend out. People that you meet here are just one in six point eight billion, and we're just really lucky. I found my soulmate. Exactly. Hey, that's such a great story. <laughs> You're both. I know. You're both.